Beamer Merchants. Hey guys, we're back here with another do-it-yourself video. You're looking at the passenger rear window regulator out of a 97 BMW E36 M3 convertible. We've gone ahead and taken this uh, side out. We're going to go and show you how to take the driver's side. We're also going to go and show you the steps necessary and the tools that you'll need to, uh, to use. You'll definitely be using a ratchet here with a 13 socket. This is a 23, I believe, which we have to use. Okay, you have to use this one as well. It's a Torx, and this is a 20. And you're also going to need a 5 8 or a 16 socket. So keep these tools handy because you will use them throughout the process. This is how the regulator looks once it's out. As you can see, we'll uh, let you know where the points are. But there's a point here, here. Okay, there's four points that we'll, uh, you'll need to focus on and we'll point them out. They're here. And then there's one up here, and there's another one down here. Now, why would you need to go ahead and replace this window regulator? Well, if your window is not going down and you have a convertible, it's not going to allow you to put your top down. So this is a necessary step. You got to fix this. Okay, let's get started. You're looking inside the uh, driver rear of the convertible. As you can see, the top is down. And in most cases, if your window regulator is not working, you won't be able to get your top down, so you'll be working in the same conditions. So we'll point out some tips on how to go about removing that regulator with the top still intact here. Okay, the first step here is you need to go ahead and remove that door panel. If you need to learn how to do that, um, check out our video archive. We should have something available for you. Um, so once you take the door panel off, you'll, this is the view that you'll have. As you can see, the speakers are back here, and you also got that module that controls your convertible top. And a lot of other wiring here. Once the panel is off, you need to go ahead and uh, pay attention to this trim here. Okay, it's a two-piece trim. There's one here that goes all the way across back here, and then it's another piece that is held by clips as you can see there's a clip right there I believe it's three clips that hold that trim now this is how it looks we took it out of the other one okay in most cases you're not gonna be able to salvage this so you're gonna have to buy a new one because especially this side here no matter how careful you are taking it off it'll bend and it'll look something like this we were careful but it's still um, it still got bent and for you to put it back into place it's just better to buy a new one okay and this trim basically goes all the way around here right there so let's go ahead and take that off just be very careful when you're using that tool you don't want to scratch the, the paint Okay, that's done. As you can see, it bent here. It's trash. You could just buy another one. Okay, now you come here. That right there is a, a Torx, a 25, and there's three of them you have to remove. That's one, two, and there's another one up here, three. And you gotta, once you take those uh, Torxes off, this is how that piece looks. Okay, let's take that off. Okay, the last torx is out, and then you can just go ahead and lift this piece out. Next, um, we need to go ahead and remove the driver's seat belts. This is the seat belt that goes over the shoulder here, connects on the side right there. To remove the seat belts, you need a um, 16 socket, and the bolt is right there. Now it's good to point out that it's a tight squeeze, as you can see. Just go ahead and push that uh, the wires down so you can put the socket firmly inside. 
This is how the bolt looks. Slide it out. This is for us. Slide it in right there. This is just for us here. You don't have to do this. Just put this aside. That's if you have to remove the whole um, seat belt. Okay. Next, we need to go ahead and remove this. So it's like a sound barrier, like a foam that's uh, against that the uh, quarter panel right there. Well, let's go ahead and remove that. Um, as for now, we're going to go ahead and cut out. Uh, so this is the first part of this video. Because of time, uh, we have to make two videos. And um, we don't want to rush this video. We want to make sure that we provide all the details and steps um, to you guys. So be sure to check out the next video. In the meantime, have any questions, comments, let us know. If you, have, if you need any parts for your E36, visit our website, bimmermerchant.com.